What's going on guys? This is your man Sly and it's finally been found. RNG Jesus himself has risen and granted us the hidden exotic that has been hyped up for months upon months upon months. I hope all of you have your viewing panties on because this is going to turn out to be one of my longer videos. So sprawl out, get comfy, and let's get to this. Alright, so some of you might have seen my video on Paradox. It's about how to get into the secret ending of the mission where you have to recover Praetith's ghost and retrace his steps that led to his disappearance. Well, if you follow through with those steps I've shown you, then you are ahead of the game. With this new patch update, the quest is finally unlocked and is available as soon as you reach the tower. Now, if you did the glitchy way or if you picked up all the ghosts, it doesn't matter. As long as you turned in your ghost to Lakshmi at the future war cult, you will have this waiting for you upon arrival. It's a lengthy quest and the end is quite difficult, at least if you plan on doing this solo. So, first up, if you aren't a future war cult member, you are about to be. You need to become one for this to start. Ditch your old faction and pick up future war cult, and then you need to give donations to start off the quest. Shady, right? Anyways, we have a little extra mode of lights lying around. Most of us do anyway, so those are the easiest way to start. It's the first left square, so spam the donations, and when you're three quarters of the way to rank one, the second part of the quest will pop up, and it's called the Simulation Core. Track down a powerful taken minotaur, destroy it, then shatter the simulation core it leaves behind. So, do as the lady says. Head to Venus, make your way towards the citadel or the ember caves, they both spawn taken minotaur lieutenants. Either one will work. After you defeat one, you'll see the simulation core appear on screen. Simply reach into your inventory, shatter it the same way you would dismantle a weapon. And back to the tower we go. Head up the stairs to the cool kids club, turn in the shattered core to receive the next step of the quest. This time, track down five of your friends or some LFG randos, and if you're lucky, someone will have an Atheon checkpoint because you now have to obtain something called the Eye of Atheon. I was pretty unlucky and had to start the Vault of Glass from the beginning, and here is what the item looks like once you beat it. Just a heads up, you can do this on normal or hard. Either one will get you what you need. Once you reap the sweet, now useless Vault of Glass rewards, shatter the eye, and once again, you need to return to the future War Cult and give this to Lakshmi. She tells you that you're the best guardian ever, and her analysis of the first shattered Minotaur core is complete. And you now need to head to Twilight Gap, a PvP map set on the outer perimeter of the last city, a site of a once great battle. This next mission is called Shadows at Twilight, and it's actually pretty cool. There are these circles of light spread across the map that cleanse you of darkness, which is just like the darkness in the Vault of Glass. It eventually blinds you, and if on you long enough, kills. So, run from circle to circle to find the chest. I'll let this run through so you know exactly where to come back to and look when you're in this stage of the quest. This is not timed, so feel free to play around. It's actually a pretty cool thing to get to explore this map without the worry of getting sniped in the dome while looking at the scenery. Once you pick up the chest containing the bracelet of Anna Bray, who was a titan that once fought at the Battle of Twilight Gap, you need to, yep, you guess it, hop back in the ship and head to the tower. Lakshmi is impatiently waiting on you in her warm clubhouse. Don't piss her off, I heard she's a biter. Once you turn this in, you're finally on the last part of the quest, and this one, my friends, is a bit insane. You'll see why here in a second. Take a look at Mars, and you'll see that another mission is highlighted. It's called Blood in the Garden. It will take you to the Black Garden where you have to defeat this Gate Lord type ultra called the Groundskeeper. Have a three of coins ready and don't worry too much about the boss. He is easy. Getting to him, however, is another thing entirely. First thing you encounter once you make your way towards the heart are these old school Vex. They completely ignore you at first, but notice the top left corner of your screen. The word anger is there because you have to kill these guys and then keep killing until you reach 100% and only then will the groundskeeper show himself. But beware, when you stop killing ads, it will slowly creep back below 100% and he will then disappear. 
Notice how when I kill things it charges, but as soon as I stop, even for a few seconds, it slowly drains it away. Now I did this solo, and I just want to show you the madness before I go any further. No lie, I bet you I died at least 15 times doing this part. Check it out. Did you see all those minotaurs? That is crazy, right? Every time you kill one, another one takes this place and they will always be there. So the best advice I can give you for right now if you're soloing this is to have a sniper rifle and a good rocket launcher ready. Kill as many enemies as you can until you reach about 120 to 140 percent. Then regain full health and run towards the boss. Now remember, he teleports between the left and high center every 20 to 30 seconds. Keep this in mind and watch your radar for the arrow. It will tell you where to go. You will die here. There's no ifs about it. Do as much damage as you can before you die, then respawn and repeat. Kill ads, get your health back, make a run for it. It might take you a little bit, but you will get there. Here's a small highlight reel of what I went through to get it. After you put your final bullet in the sky, you can breathe, my friend. Minotaurs are gone, they stop making that awful sound, and your questing is done. He doesn't drop anything, you know, I think it was this was Bungie's way of just saying stop data mining the game, we hate it. Anyway, head back to Lakshmi and pick up your beautiful new gun. And that's it, you know, it's a shame it only drops at 280 light. I was at 306 when I picked it up, and I was hoping for 310, but anyway, you know how the game goes. You know, for dealing with that many minotaurs, you should have got something at least. But it's all good. Believe it or not, this is the first exotic pulse rifle since Destiny first launched. Besides the Red Death and Bad Juju, this is it. Is it worth it? Uh, sadly, guys, I don't think so. I'll have a video about that a little later. But anyway, that's it. Hope this guide helps you in your quest to obtain it. Another exotic is always a good thing in my book, so enjoy it. I didn't like shooting people at range with it in PvP, but close up, it destroys. As usual, if you're watching this right here, right effin' now, then you, my exotic friend, are the biggest minotaur-killing badass that I have ever seen. Stay sly, guys. This is your man Sly. Done, gone, and...